Welcome back to It's Your Environment. I'm George Curtis. Our guest today is Ben Sherg, who has invented, is manufacturing, and is merchandising a real step forward in ice fishing tip-ups. Tell us how it works. Well, the hook set tip-up was created very simply to help people catch more fish. Now, a conventional tip-up works like so. You put your bait on the hook, you put it down into the water, and when the fish bites, a flag pops up. The rest of it is up to the ice fisherman. Now, the hook set tip-up has an extra advantage to it. All you do to set this tip up is simply line a firing pin up with the slide, push down and turn, and set your flag under the T-bar. That's about as easy as it gets to set this thing up. When the fish bites on this tip up, it gets a surprise. Up the spring goes, setting the hook, and then the fish can pull out line until the fisherman gets there to pull it in. Now, the reason we came up with this idea is 22 years ago, my father, my brothers, and I were ice fishing and we had 22 flags. Of those 22 flags, we caught two fish. So uh, ice fishing being the low percentage uh, you know, fishing that it is, we decided that to increase that percentage, we had to have a tip-up that set the hook for us, thereby having the fish already hooked when you get there. And that's how this idea was born. It's a great idea, and you have provided to us some film of it actually working. And, of course, I laughed the first time I saw the film <laughs> because I can remember whenever the old-fashioned tip-up would go up, we were doing something that interfered with our fishing. I won't get too graphic, sure. but <laughs> by the time we ran across the ice and got there, it was just time to bait the hook again. Yep. We're huffing, puffing, sweating and sometimes go home skunked. You've uh, really outsmarted the fish, it looks to me like. Absolutely. Ben. You know, these tip-ups have worked far better than I could have even hoped. Um, we realized that by setting the hook immediately when the fish bites, we would have better success. It's much like when you're standing in a boat in the summer and you're holding a rod in your hand. When that fish pulls, you pull back instantly because that's the best time to do it. With conventional tip-ups, you've got them spread out 50, 75, 100 yards away from you, so you're never there for that instant when they bite. So it was just logic that if we were to be able to create a tip-up that would do that for us, we would catch more of those fish. Now, the results that I've seen personally have been fantastic. I am right now over 80%. So eight out of every 10 times that this flag goes up, I pull a fish through the hole. That is a dramatic improvement over the other tip-ups that are out on the market right now. And this year especially, I've been trying to keep track of the other fishermen around me. I've seen 40 flags go up and they've only caught 15 of those fish. So they're somewhere in the neighborhood of 37%. I'm in the neighborhood of 82%. So this is more than twice as successful right now than the other tip-ups on the market. The great thing is I'm hearing of people that have purchased these that are having better results than even I am. There's one gentleman who's a professional fisherman down in Milwaukee that tells me to this day he has not missed a fish. Wow. Now, there's some advantage to the fish as well, and this may seem strange, but elaborate on that. Exactly. Uh, the two things that I wanted to accomplish with this idea were to A, catch more fish, and B, to uh, be able to catch and release those fish healthy back into the environment. The premise of tip-ups right now and the best way to use them to catch fish is to allow that fish to swallow the hook. Now when you do that, you'll catch a fish and that's fine if you want to keep it. But when you catch a fish that you need to release and it's hooked in the throat or it's hooked in the gills, unfortunately a lot of fishermen just pull that hook out and you can throw that fish down the hole and it's still going to swim away, but the fish is going to die. Or, you know, some people also believe if you snip that line and allow the hook uh, to dissolve, as we all think it will, the fish will survive as well. Uh, but the most recent studies have shown that most of those fish are dying as well. So with the hook set tip up, setting the hook immediately, the majority of the hook sets are on the corner of the mouth or in the top of the mouth. I have yet to have one fish hooked in the gills or hooked in the throat. So I'm confident that when you take the hook out of that fish and release it, it's going to live to bite and fight another day. And sometimes we catch fish that are undersized, that are not legal, are wrong species, yep. or for some other reason we want to release that fish because they are in short supply in sure. that particular species. And the option is taken away from us if the fish has swallowed the hook. Exactly. You know, there's terrific fisheries in this state, such as Lake Mendota down in Madison. Lake Mendota has a 40-inch minimum size limit for northern pike. And I had the 
good fortune of living on Lake Mendota when I was going to school at the UW. And in three years of living on that lake, I caught one fish of legal size. I caught 50 that were too small. And what you'll see on the shores of Lake Mendota in the spring when the ice melts is just loads of dead pike in the you know 20 to 30 inch class that were killed during ice fishing. And you know it's just because these tip ups are not setting the hook fast enough. So that was another reason for coming up with this idea. I've seen the idea. I've seen it work on film. I've had the product in my hand. In fact, we have a species of the product right in front of us, the sure. current model, and then one of the earlier yeah. prototypes. I'm impressed with how well constructed it is. Let's take our next break, Ben, and when we come back, you can explain the construction, the improvements, how people can get it, and how they can use it, because uh, I was also amazed at how reasonably priced it was. We've got a lot of good news after this break, and we'll be right back. Finally, a real Wisconsin winter. We've got snow, we've got ice, we've got fun. We've got out of doors that throughout the rest of the country makes us the envy. Snowmobiling, snowshoeing, skiing, ice fishing, it's all here right now and we don't have to travel 2,000 miles to find it. If you haven't been out on the ice recently, go out and visit these people who are fishing through the ice. You'll find they're comfortable, they have great clothing, they're protected, they're catching fish, they're not crazy, they're smart. Join them. I'm George Curtis.